All right, we're going to work on our unit four exercises today now that we have all our JDVC stuff working. And I'm just going to scroll down to the exercise and let's go ahead and uh, go to chapter 34 and look at exercise 34.1, which I happen to have very conveniently in the tab right next to where I'm working. And the first exercise reads as follows. It says, write a program that views, inserts, updates, staff information stored in a database as shown in 3427A. So here we're going to take some of our GUI programming skills now and we're going to create this interface. So that's part of what we're doing here. Um, and um, once we have that, the view button will display a record with the specified ID. So you'll type in an ID number, hit view, and it'll pull back the record. That's the goal. Um, the insert button will insert a new record. So you'd come in, type a new ID, type in, fill in all the fields, hit insert, and adds it to the database. The update button updates the record for the specified ID. So if I type in, you know, Peter Smith here, and I wanted to change his address, and then I hit update, that'll write it back to the database. The staff table is created as follows. So what they're telling you is this already exists and they're just showing you the information that's present. And now, why is that important? Because if you're going to pull the information from the database, you need to know what fields are there and how they're correctly named in order to write to them. So I wanna start with that little piece first. So I'm gonna ask you, if you haven't already, go to phpMyAdmin in your browser and find that table. So, uh, you know, log into phpMyAdmin find your Java book, and then go to your staff table. Now, somebody reminded me last time when I did this, I actually used Java book too, uh, which is helpful. But you notice that, that one doesn't have anything in it. So I must have put it in the other account, I'm guessing. But if I go into my Java book and then go to the staff table, and I want to go look at it with a very specific reason, um, I want to verify that the fields that I have listed here are the same fields that they're indicating in the book and more importantly that they're named exactly the same way upper lower case precisely so i'm going to now compare to the book and the book says okay the staff table does start with a capital s lowercase camel n right for first and last name middle address city state telephone and email are all present now if i look at the staff table here and now I know this with experience, which is why I'm bringing this up. You guys should all go into your staff table. Are you missing the email column? No, you guys have it? I must have added it to the script file for you. All right, but if you are missing that column, please let me know and I'll help you create it. My staff table seems empty. I don't know if I'm yeah, mine's it wrong. Mine's empty. That is, that is correct. It starts empty. Okay. <laughs> you have done was, nothing wrong. I was slightly afraid for a moment. Yeah. You've done nothing wrong, but the structure is there. There's just nothing in it. Okay. So you guys are okay. All right. Let's now go to Eclipse and start coding this, folks. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a, a new application. So we're going to do this in the Chapter 34 folder here. Right-click on the Source folder a new class file. Now because we are going to build a GUI application, um, you are going to want to kind of refer back to some of the GUI stuff that we did uh, to help you with this process. So I'm naming this one Exercise 34.1. Um, we're going to want that public static void uh, main and I'm going to go ahead and click finish. Is this one going to like extend application like the class? Absolutely. So we're doing all the okay, standard cool. GUI stuff that we normally do. So we're going to extend application, add our Java effects libraries. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to create, we're going to hover over the class name, add the unimplemented method, which is the start method. I always like to move my, uh, my main method to the bottom. That's my, my personal preference. And we know that we need to put in a launch directive here. So just get all that stuff done. All the normal GUI stuff that we do. Okay. Uh, the other thing that we're going to want to do as well is open up one of our previous GUI applications and, and steal 
the stage and the scene and all that stuff, right? So I'm just opening one up at random here and I'm just coming in and I'm grabbing the scene and the stage, that little tidbit. And you know what? I'm going to leave this open because I get the feeling this one might be handy, by the way. And I'm going to add the stage and the scene here. And you know what? I'm not sure what some of this stuff is going to be called yet. And I don't think I'm going to call it VBX. I'm probably going to call it something more generic. Um, and I'm just going to put in a thing here that says name me. So I remember to do it later, right? And I'll see it underlined and I'm like, name me. And it'll, that'll be whatever pain we're choosing to put in here. Let's go ahead and, and put the title in right away. So this is exercise 34.1. Um, and what did they call it in the book? I forget. Uh, access and update a staff table. Well, you know what? I'm not going to put all that in there. <laughs> I hope you guys don't, don't mind. Let's just call it a staff table. Or maybe just... You know what? Staff, right? That'll work. All right. So go ahead and save your work. Make sure you got that saved. And now we also have to throw in all the little MySQL pieces that we're going to need. So why don't we go ahead and add the MySQL connector straight away because we know we're going to need it. So let's go up to the project menu, choose properties. And I want you to notice here, hey, it's already there. And now why is it there? Because we're including this in the chapter 34 project, correct? That already has that library referenced. So everything in this project will automatically be connected to MySQL. If you hadn't done the simple JDBC assignment first, we wouldn't have it. All right. All right, so now that we verify that that is there, we can come up here and do the import of the the SQL library. So type import java.sql and put in the asterisk and the semicolon. And folks, I am, I am unfortunately out of time for the evening. So this is where we're going to cap it for tonight. And But we, this is where we're going to pick up. Now, you can feel free if you feel bold and brave enough to try to do this on your own, feel free. The one thing that you should be able to do at this point is I would think with some comfort at least, create the interface. So you can go ahead and do that. You can create the buttons, you can create the text boxes, the labels, and make it look what it is. And then and we'll come back together next week and compare. I will be extending the due date by one week to match up with our progress. All right, see you guys all next week. Take care. Next week. And this recording is here. Goodbye.